Buen Camino, day four to Valhalda. Um, actually, it's the morning after. Uh, temperatures went up to 114 degrees yesterday. And so that's making us seriously think about some re-strategizing, probably getting up at about three every morning and getting the bulk of the walking done before 10 a.m. Uh, yesterday, walking here to Valhalla, uh, nothing but miles and miles of Roma tomato fields. And um, there was a, some grace extended to us because it was cloudy for a majority of those early morning hours. And we were walking and my friend Britt said to me, do you remember the parable of the popcorn? And that was just so random that he mentioned that because that was a story that I used to use about 28 years ago when I would give a talk. And um, I had first heard it and loved it. And so there were many, many times that I would use the parable of the popcorn as an illustration. And I thought, how random for, for him to have remembered that or to have pulled that out of the mental vault and I'm, I was lying in uh, in the sweat last night uh, there was no air con in the albergue and it was stifling and I thought the parable of the popcorn how did that go and it started off with behold and uh, behold there were this uh, population of kernels and all of them were alike. But when you applied the heat and when you applied the oil and the heat, some burst, but not too much. Some burst fully forth expressing themselves while others just lie there. And the parable was when the heat is on, which one are we? Are we the ones that burst forth in all of our expression? Are we the ones that just kind of minimally uh, pop? Or, or are we the ones that just lie there? And the parable was supposed to indicate the heat being the pressures of life. When the heat is on, how do we respond? Do we recoil or do we allow that heat to create a sort of evolutionary pressure to bring forth an even expanded version of us, the parable of the popcorn. And then I think it ended with something like, um, and those that burst forth with full puffiness were a delight unto all, and those who remained hardened in their shell were discarded <laughs> and forgotten. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that parable, the parable of the popcorn. But I started to think about that literally when the heat is on. And I thought, oh my God, is this whole Camino going to be about the heat? That would seem kind of like a drag. And what can I do to not make that the full focus of the conversation or the full focus of posting or just the full focus of this opportunity to be able to walk in this transcendent experience. And so I don't have an answer yet, but I do know that the literal heat will require us to 
rethink and re-strategize and, and replan some things and to adjust with it because we're all kernels and we're all in this together. And so it's not like anything is being done to me specifically that isn't being done to everybody else. In this beautiful area that I just showed you in the beginning of the video, scores of townspeople were here last night to seek relief by throwing themselves in the water. And so I, I'm looking today for an opportunity to um, allow myself to approach this differently, to be open, to be able to be puffed forth into all of my magnificent puffiness so that I can understand that when the heat is on, I don't have to shrivel, but that I can allow it to expand me into something greater. Boy in Camino. Uh, so it's, uh, it's actually 6 a.m. the day after. I'll, and, um, but I just um, thought I'd be better prepared to say something today when it's a little bit cool. I do want to thank long-standing they're, they're not supporters of kaleidoscope child foundation uh, they are the heart of kaleidoscope child foundation and that is nikki murphy and her husband michael and nikki is on our board nikki showed up in cambodia oh so many years ago and like almost all of the hundreds of people that came with me there over the years fell in love with the children and the possibilities, and Nikki stayed on. She stayed on as a full-time supporter and board member, and she is still the heart uh, of the organization. She has expanded to being the treasurer, and she takes the board minute notes, and she does so much of the creative graphic part of it that, quite frankly, I don't know where we would be today without them, and they, put a large chunk of money in as sponsors and they didn't have to and um, and just so touched by their love and support for that so I want to say thank you to uh, Nikki and Michael Murphy today all right the heat is on what shall we do with that Wayne Camino